Well, hello there. I'm Christine and welcome to my channel. This week the format is going to be a little bit different because um, when you hear the planetary energies, you'll understand why. I'm going to be doing reading cards intuitively for the, 20, the, for the 12th of August to the 18th of August 2024. Uh, we have had some planetary energies where planets are retrograde like mercury has caused fogginess and it's meeting up with um aspecting pluto and pluto is a large planet um and larger planets and slower planets sort of and the energy is a little bit different and i've been wondering why i have felt so oh like a sense of low and fogginess and just like I couldn't sometimes I felt like I couldn't get out of my own way by the end of the week now we're all not like that different people are influenced I guess or subject to or sense sensitive is a better word to planetary energies and other people are sensitive to other energies so there's no right or wrong but I'll just run down through what the planets are doing and then we'll look at the cards so this, as I said, the reading goes from the 12th of August to the 18th of August, 2024. On Monday, which is tomorrow here, but could, depending where you are in the world, we'll just call it the 12th. We are at a first, a, the first quarter moon in Scorpio. The moon is in Scorpio as I speak. And the first quarter moon is where when we've made plans and set out our intentions and everything with the new moon and then a week later it's sort of like mm, there could be something not quite going the way we planned it and we have to tweak some things and make some adjustments and that and and that can create it that can create a, a, a degree of tension of having to reflect well you know I thought I was going to head down the highway this way but we always have to remember that success is not a straight line it is a zigzag so so Tuesday, the moon will enter Sagittarius and a Sagittarius moon wants us to have a feeling of independence and freedom. But we also might be reflecting, getting our books out and think, well, you know, what's wrong with the resume? I need to um, just see where I'm going and what I'm doing. You don't know where you're going if you can't sort of look where you've been. So you can go back through your journal and things like that, or you can just say, I am going to tweak this my way and that's all there is about it. So once again, if you've been feeling heavy in your thoughts, I've got some notes here and slow to focus. It's because Mercury retrograde in Virgo is in a quincunx or in conjunct, which is what we used to say years ago, aspect with Pluto at zero degrees Aries. This can bring a energy of confusion, secret behaviors, um, wondering what the hell's going on. Are they talking behind my back? This is strange. They haven't done this before. We also see that Mars is in conjunct Jupiter at 16 degrees in Gemini, which normally would bring a sense of energy, energy and optimism, but these two planets are in a square to Saturn in Pisces, and old Saturn can make us sometimes feel like we are wading through molasses. Well, at least this is how it has felt for me, instead of rocketing off with that Mars energy and being on top of the world. Adding to the mix with this Mercury retrograde quincunx is in a quincunx to Neptune in Pisces, which, oh, talk about foggy thoughts and making us just sort of wanting to avoid things. Well, that's how it is coming across for me, but everyone is different. I'd love to know how it's coming across for you. Is anyone else feeling this planetary energy? Uh, by Friday, um, Mars will be in a square to Saturn. Uh, so just take things easy, let it do its thing, <laughs> let it do its thing. And on Saturday, the moon will enter Aquarius. Now, I have an Aquarius moon and an Aquarius rising, and I am a, a Libra, and so I've got this air energy, so uh, no wonder I'm sort of feeling with Pluto at zero degrees Aquarius, ready to sort of slowly but surely make its way to back into Capricorn for the spell that it's going to do that for. So Mercury retrograde will, uh, will retrograde into Leo, which will then square Uranus in Taurus. 
just to add a little bit more argy bargy tension is in charge and but it also with that Uranus energy but could bring this sense of well damn it I'm just gonna do it out of the box and see what happens see what happens so I'm going to just change the channels not the channels but the things and I'm going to be working with my Rider Waite Smith I without I'm not doing crystal ball work today I sort of tried to, I was working a little bit with it on Friday and it all was like just too not just wasn't happening but I do have some sort of um, inner soul guidance oracle deck here and uh, by, written by psychic medium Leanne Winston and intuitive created a an intuitive creative soul Deb Gilmore so we'll just see what images we come up with that and then I also thought we could pull some cards from the fairy tale fortune cards because they're colorful and uplifting so what will help with these aspects I'll we'll pull a couple of cards for that. Just check you can see the cards. Now two have come at once. Well, there's our thoughts. Needing to feel like you're wanting to pick up your thoughts and run away. But then it's time to sort of, with that Pisces energy, just sort of utilize it to your advantage that's what we need to do take it easy and utilize it to our advantage things will improve and the confusion we can see the light with the confusion we hold the energy in our hands so we need to stay grounded with that Pisces, Neptune, water energy adding to that mix. We need to just sort of step into that Earth, Taurus, and that's a Virgo card, and ground ourselves. What will help us ground ourselves? What will help us uh, see what we nearly really need to do and what, what we need to um, do to shine a light on this? And through awareness, we can bring about change. And I'll just pop another card on that. So we're going to accept some, offer some friends. Maybe get focused and help other people to sort of shift that energy from ourselves. Get out in our community. See if there's someone else that could use a helping hand. Uh, that would help. I see all the see that walking gently, and also taking control of our emotions and our thoughts. I will then now use the inner soul guidance oracle to see what inner strength can we tap into now i should give these a shuffle and i'm going to take it from the top oh lion isn't that interesting because the sun is in leo and mercury will retrograde back into leo allow your inner roar to empower you Instead of succumbing to it and be clear, be focused, because your inner roar will offer strength and um, to help overcome our hurdles. So I just might draw another one. We'll just see what's on the bottom as a surprise card. Oh, breathe. Breathe, breathe, breathe. Release what no longer serves us. That's our inner strength we need to sing. Trust in the breath trust in our inner energy to find our balance and use our inner roar to put down our boundaries and keep our boundaries because some of these energies of Neptune in Pisces um, and uh, or Uranus and that there's no <laughs> there's no boundaries there so that's the one that likes boundaries and I'll just draw three cards from the fairy tale fortune they are also a, they're a Lenamon deck but Liz Dean chose to call them the fairy tale fortune cards and they've got a lovely energy.
Oh, beautiful. There's a lot of height. <laughs> if we're able to center ourselves, our house can be our center as well. But it also, if we're able to be at home, be at home and in, enjoy ourselves being at home and being in the comfort of our home. And that will bring us strength and feel like we're in charge of our things. Watch our diet, perhaps, with the bear, and also our money. Just be sort of, um, not scroogey, but just sort of um, modest and know where our money is going. And that will then allow us, mixing with this one, to get out and create new friendships and connect with our friends in the garden and be out in um, outdoors in nature to help us feel like we are balanced because it's once we're in nature we get that sense of balance and um, once sometimes you're out walking if you're going out for a walk in your neighborhood um, which is very Gemini you will you will sort of then meet people say hello and that can be a nice grounding energy for you so there's an opportunity to look out for look out for friends in the neighborhood use our inner strength to tap into using lion energy leo energy use your inner roar if you have to to put down boundaries and breathe and breathe and what will help us with these aspects is to be happy to put move our thoughts along and uh, focus on what we do have. We hold in our hands our emotions and our thoughts um, and we can be our own inner guidance. And as I said, these two are all connecting up about get outside, get in nature and start to feel good again, like clear the air, breathe some air. So thank you for watching and I look forward to you saying what you do to clear the thoughts when you get this Mercury retrograde fog. Um, or do you experience Don't you experience it? And I look forward to seeing you on the next video. Bye for now.